Hi everybody, it is Sunday the 1st of September, so it is the first day of Sharon Ayala September, a month in which I am hoping to work on mostly uh, patterns by Sharon Ayala. There may be uh, other things that pop in or, you know, um, other things I work on in the background, but mainly I want to try and work through the, the hundreds of Sharon patterns there are. Uh, obviously I won't get through them all, but... Um, I'm going to give it a good go and see what we can get made. So I'm aware that we um, have some new subscribers to the channel and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much for coming over and watching. Um, sorry, my phone's buzzing. Uh, a big hello to all the returning subscribers as well. Thank you for coming back to watch me again. You, you're very kind. Uh, thank you for, for spending some of your time with me. Um, so I thought I should introduce myself properly uh, as we have new people on board. Uh, my name's Kim, uh, I am 37, I live in a little town in the East Midlands uh, of the UK, it's sort of between Nottingham and Derby. Um, I've got uh, a husband who mainly gets referred to as he who won't, or he who doesn't like me buying wool. He never doesn't let me, he just frowns at me a lot. Uh, his name's Paul. And then I've got two sons, uh, Tobin, the oldest, who is, he'll be 11 at the end of September, and Jack, who is seven, turned seven in June. Um, so we are a couple of days from them going back to school after the summer holidays. Uh, Tobin's really looking forward to it, Jack really isn't. <laughs> um, but yes, so I, I was talking to... Uh, Sharon, uh, of Sharon Ayala. I will say Sharon a lot through this video, I do apologise. Um, but I was talking to her about this this month of, of featuring her patterns and she thought it was, you know, a really cool idea and uh, she very kindly posted about it on her uh, Facebook page. So I had a lot of new um, members joining the Facebook group I've got set up for this. It is Blue Cherub Crochet Group on Facebook. Please feel free to pop over. Uh, it is a closed closed group, so you have to ask to join. But I'm I'm approving pretty much everybody. Uh, I've approved everybody so far. I say I'm just keeping out for spam and things like that. But it's just a group to come and show us what you're making. If you're working on a Sharon pattern, brilliant, show us. Um, and I I just really wanted to do this as a sort of a crochet along, so that if any questions pop up or you need help with anything or or any, you know, just for us to help each other and inspire each other with colour choices, with patterns that maybe you try and I haven't, or you know, anything like that. So uh, thank you, Sharon, for sharing uh, the details of this uh, crochet along and for uh, being on board and uh, you know, being your wonderful self. <laughs> um, I was talking to Sharon yesterday about this and uh, I said I wanted to do, in my, my video where I talked about plans for the month, I said I wanted to finally make myself a Coraline doll. I still do, I've, I've not, I haven't got the yarn pulled for it yet, but hopefully through the month I will get to it. Um, and she said, wow, I think those patterns are from 2012 or something. And I said, I oh, know, it doesn't seem... I've made the cat, uh, Wuss Puss, from Coraline, the, the, the black cat. I've made one of those. He actually lives in my car now. Um, but it doesn't seem like sort of five minutes since I made him. But I was actually pregnant with Jack when I made it. So that is, you know, seven years ago now. Seven years plus. Um, and it's it's crazy how long I've been talking to Sharon and how fresh the patterns still seem, but, but how long ago it was, really. Uh, although you think 2012 doesn't seem like that long ago. It kind of was. It's, uh, anyway, so um, I will show you what I, I printed out patterns yesterday. I had hoped to have something started to show you, because I think I'm starting with the Little Bigfoot teddy bear. I'm hoping to go through and hopefully find buried on my computer somewhere, all the photos I took of stuff I've made and I want to put in, hopefully, at the end of this video, so if it's there, woohoo, I found them, um, the photos of, of previous 
uh, items uh, from Sharon's patterns that I've made. I have lost count of how many of the little Bigfoot teddy bears I've made. They they were standard uh, birthday present part uh, birthday party presents for the boys' friends. Any party they got invited to when they were younger, they got. Uh, the little teddy bears. I remember making, I had to make two at once for twins at a party he got invited to and that may well have been when he was at nursery school, uh, at his nursery before he started um, primary school at four and a half with Jack. Um, but yeah, I made lots of teddy bears. I've made this pattern which is the jelly bean monsters. These are great. I remember making one of these for Tobin's friend when he was in his reception class, so he'd been five, and I made it for a friend um, in that class for his birthday. And one of them, he he called it Bossy, um, and I got a thank you card. It was one of the first thank you cards I got for presents I'd made. It was brilliant. And then I made a blue one, and I gave it to a friend of Tobin's, who he's still friends with now, um, like stayed in the same class and stuff through through primary school. Um, and his mum says, oh, that toy was brilliant. Where did you get it from? And I was like, oh, I made it. And she went, no. And that was, you know, really nice. It was the first time I'd sort of um, I'd been able to do that. Oh, you like, you know, oh, I really like that. Oh, I made it. And and it was, it was good. It felt good. Um, so let's have a look. There we go. So this one is what I'll be making. I've made lots of these in various different colours and... They've always come out super cute. So this is the pattern I will be starting first. The uh, teddy bear, like I say, I had hoped to get one started to be able to say, I've started this. Today has just been really busy. <laughs> um, and I've got, these are all patterns I previously had printed out. This is the dress me bunny. I've made two of these, one for uh, a party table I'm supposed to be going to, and he actually got, uh, he had a cold, really bad cold, and I said he can't go. It was a laser quest party, and he would, he, no. So I said he couldn't go, but obviously I'd made the present with this boy in mind, so I gave it to him at school, like, after the party. And he was dressed in the dungarees, this bunny was. It was so cute. I think I made a second one with dungarees. Let me see if the pattern's here. The dungarees may actually be online still, like as a separate pattern that I haven't printed. Yes, I haven't printed the pattern, but it comes with either um, a dress or you can make dungarees. And the dungarees are super cute. Mm -hmm. um, and then I made a second one for my niece, my little niece for her, I don't know whether it was her first birthday or her first Christmas. But I know I've made two of them and they were super cute. They are, they, and they come out a nice big size as well. And then this pattern uh, is the, I had to write it on myself, it's the Little Bigfoot Panda. This was for Tobin's reception class teacher, so his first year at school. Their class was called the Panda Class. And when he left, like when he was moving up into the next year, we gave the teacher's presents. And, um, I... Um, Sharon was working on this pattern, it wasn't ready, it wasn't like published or out or anything. And I, I was so cheeky, I can't believe I did it now. I emailed her or messaged her and said, would I be able to tell, you know, to have a copy of this pattern to, to like make, I want to make it as a present for, for his teachers. And she sent it to me before it was even out. It's so sweet and she's even written on top of it, hi Kim, I hope everything works out, you know. Uh, everything works out and like I said feel free to change whatever you like uh, it's still a pattern I need to go over myself so it's you know she was so kind to send this to me when it wasn't finished and I jumped the gun and everything and sort of so cheekily emailed her and was like I want that uh, I'm so sorry Sharon I'm so <laughs> I keep thinking oh, that was really cheeky but she was an absolute star as, as always and I'm very kindly let me have it. So I was able to make a panda in time and, and give it to the teachers. So thank you. Um, and then I've got the, uh, this is the original Little Bigfoot basic body pattern. And I printed this out because I made, uh, not too long ago actually, Temple the Cow. 
So they all start with the basic body pattern and then you just change ears, uh, you know, snout, muzzle, whatever, accordingly to whichever animal it is. And she came out so cute. I did her um, white and purple and she's super cute. So I, I like the little big foot pans for their, you know, you can interchange them and, uh, you know, one basic body pattern, you can use it for so many different animals. And then I've got printed the little big foot pig. They come out really cute, really cute. I gave one to someone as a party, like as a present, birthday present at a party. And someone else who went asked me to make one. Like one of their friends had seen it and said, can you make me one? I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then these, I made these a couple of years ago for the boys to take to school for World Book Day. So Tobin is a huge um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan. So they dressed up as the characters. So they had white tights and black shorts uh, and a white shirt. And then I can't remember who took which. So there's Greg, who's the main, he's like the storyteller. And then Roderick is his big brother. And I can't remember which way around the boys took them to school, but I made them each a little backpack as well to carry them in. So they went as wimpy kids carrying the, you know, the dolls. So it's, it's just doing a pattern for everything. And then these uh, patterns I printed out yesterday for ones that I'd gone through and mentioned on the video to say that I'd, I'd like to make. So there was the winter bunny, because I just look how cute they are. They're so adorable. So I'm hoping to do craft fairs later in the year, so I want some Christmassy themed uh, items. But these uh, winter bunny uh, winter bunnies have uh, removable hats, so they don't have to be winter bunnies all year round. She thinks of everything. And then um, the tiny crocheted zombie bunny. So cute. I don't. I think I took the picture off the front page. Let me see if I've got. These are brilliant, like um, dangling eyeballs and uh, exposed ribs and stuff. It's just fantastic. So I can't wait to make one of those because, oh, you know, I like things a bit creepy. So it's brilliant. Uh, she's got a Frankenstein that I want to make as well. Uh, but I thought I'd better pace myself as I've got quite a stack of patterns already. So I'm doing printing everything off. Then there's the um, crochet along Amigurumi sock monkey. I've never made a sock monkey in all the time that I've been crocheting, so I should. And this one has a great story with it. Um, Sharon's daughter Grace, uh, or Gracie, uh, broke her leg. I can't remember what she was doing, but um, she ended up in a wheelchair because she was in plaster. So how cool of a mum is it that makes you a monkey in a wheelchair? So it can be just like you. Fantastic. Um, so yes, I want to make the monkey. I'm not quite brave enough for the wheelchair, I don't think, but we might. I did it. Just bear with me. Sorry about that. Um, Jack had just been to the park um, riding his bike, so he's a bit excited. Um, so yes, what was I going to show you next? Um, the big bad wolf. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Um, there are the three little pigs to go along with this as well, which is just, it's just adorable. But look at him. Oh, he's so cute. So I'll be making him. And then this one I really want to make, but it's really big. But hopefully I will get, um, I'll get to him because I want to do something with this when I've made it. But I can't tell you because that person might watch. So it's a uh, <laughs> sneaky, um, sneaky project for now or a sneaky what I plan to do with it but this is uh, the moose free pan and I believe his name's Art yeah Art is the beige moose I made for my father Art on Father's Day and Muddy is the brown moose her dad I did mention this in the previous video her dad always draws a moose on any notes he leaves and I love it it's wicked um, so she she made a moose for him. Um, that, that's what I love about crochet. You really can make it that personal to, you know, someone who always draws a, a moose on, on notes he leaves. You can make him his own moose. It's, it's brilliant. Um, 
So I've got plenty to be going with there, I think. I don't know that I'll get to them all or I might change my mind and do something else, but there are two, 200 patterns to choose from. Um, so I think we've got a bit of choice um, and I'm pretty sure we can keep ourselves busy. Um, so by all means, uh, tell me below what you're planning to make or start showing me what you're making in the Facebook group. I'd love to see it. Um, I know that a couple of people have said that you know they're following along or they're going to be crocheting along, and I love it. I think that's such a good, you know, such a nice thing to all do together, and they're they're fantastic patterns. So you're in safe hands, and beginners or people who wanted to do amigurumi and not got around to it yet. Sharon's got video tutorials for a lot of her patterns, so and she lit really does take you through it step by step you are in safe hands. So go check her channel out, go check her Ravelry page out, pick some patterns out, see if there's a, a Ravelry, uh, you know, uh, a Ravelry YouTube tutorial to go with it. By all means, check out her other page, uh, her other channel. She's doing, is it where the, where the gnomes live? And she makes tree houses and needle felted stuff and little furniture to go in dolls houses. She the, the lady's talent is limitless. Um, so yeah, go check her out, show her some love, and let's make a little army of Sharon Ayala creatures. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure will make some kids happy, some adults happy. It certainly makes me happy making them and uh, being able to give them to people. So let's go see what we can do. So I'm gonna leave it here, get this uploaded, hopefully find those photos to pop on the end of the video. I know I take photos of pretty much everything I make, but where they are in between changes of computers and phones and cloud services, I don't know. But I, I'm sure I will find some, if not all of them. Um, so, like I said, thank you for joining me uh, and spending some time with me. I will be back tomorrow with something to show you, I promise, because <laughs> I'm going to sit and do some tonight. Um, so take care, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. This is Jack, if you don't know him. Say hi, Jack. Hi. See you tomorrow.